Hey everybody, uh, tutorial here on using what we call the Arduino IDE. So I'm going to share my screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Most of the time when you've been working, you've been using the Arduino online uh, web editor. So if you go to create uh, Arduino .cc, here's the web editor. And so this is what you've mostly been using. And this will work for a lot of things. However, there might be some sensors or some other things um, where you can't use this Arduino um, online web editor. Um, if you're using the Wi-Fi module, for instance, um, you have to use the desktop version of this. So this is online. It's kind of like everything's saved automatically. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about uh, the desktop version. So I'm just going to go to download um, Arduino IDE. But here is the software for Arduino. And you can see right here is the web editor. And so we actually want to scroll down. I want to say download the Arduino IDE. And if you are on Windows, which you all probably are, um, you're going to use this Windows installer for Windows 7 and up. And that's going to, uh, right here, you just want to click Just Download, unless you want to contribute to Arduino. If you click Just Download, it will download this .exe file. From here, um, it's pretty straightforward. You are going to install. Um, you might have to give some permissions, walk through, you know, just click Yes, Yes, Yes on the Arduino IDE. And when you get done, you will have this Arduino IDE installed on your computer. So you can open it up and run it. I'll just give you kind of just a quick overview of how it works. It's very similar to the online version. Um, and mine, I'm running this on a Mac right now, so mine will look a little bit different than yours. But I have also done this on a PC many times, so should be able to hopefully load. There we go. And it's going to load up. So this is what we call a sketch. So that's the exact same thing as this. So there are different sketches here. So if we wanted to look at the music machine sketch, uh, we would just pull it up. When we're in our uh, desktop version, uh, these get saved um, under different names. So if I wanted to save this sketch, you will be on a PC. So most likely your file, edit, sketch, all of those options will be right here in this window. Over because I'm on a Mac, my options are up here. So if I wanted to save this, I could go File, I could go Save As, and it should open up a folder um, in the uh, where you can save these for the Arduino. Just double check to make sure you know where you're saving your stuff. I'm saving mine into a specific Arduino folder. I'm just going to call this um, Empty Sketch. I'm going to save it. So now I have this uh, sketch saved. You can see this is really simple code where there's nothing in it. It's just completely blank. Um, and all of these commands are going to be very much the same. So if I wanted to upload this code, I will plug in my Arduino. And there's a couple things that I need to check. Just like when you're on the web editor, you need to make sure that your device has loaded. We're going to do the same thing on our desktop. And so remember, your tools uh, thing will probably be right here because you're in a PC, but my tools thing is up here. So you're going to go to Tools. And you're just going to check, and you're going to see which board are you using. And so I'm going to want to make sure that I have Arduino Uno selected if I'm uploading to that board. The other thing I'm going to want to check is my port. So I've got my board as Arduino Uno, my port. I'm going to find the port that my um, Arduino is plugged into. And now that I've got my port and my board, I can just upload this sketch. And so I'm just going to press Upload. It should compile just like the online version does. Um, and it will uh, upload it. So it's done uploading. That was a success. Um, remember that this doesn't save automatically. So make sure if you're working on code in here that you save it. 
lots of times what you're going to do is you're actually going to not write your own code, but you're going to take code. So let's say I wanted to program something like my, um, like say my ESP communicating with Arduino. So I'm going to take this code. Control A is going to select all of it. So that selects all my code. Control C is going to copy that. Then I'm going to switch back over to my Arduino uh, desktop IDE. I'm going to select all again. Command A. I'm going to press Command. All right. On a PC, it will be Control V. So Control C is copy. Control V is paste. Control A is select all. So I've copied this from the web, and I'm going to paste it. So it's going to say Control V. And now that pasted all of my code in here. And so I can upload this. Um, one other thing, if you remember on the online version over here, you have the monitor. If you want to see what's going on with the serial port and monitor messages from your Arduino. We have the same thing on here. Um, I believe you can see it in the tools. Yeah, here's the serial monitor. You can open, open it up this way. Or the even faster way is just to go up here and click on serial monitor. And it's having some sort of error. That's OK. Um, so that is basically, oh, it's having this error. Because I can't open up this serial monitor on my desktop while I also have this open on the online version. So my online version is connected to my Arduino Uno. And it has this uh, port um, open. So I would need to close this out close out of my online version, and now I should be able to open up my serial monitor. There it is on my um, desktop version. So if you get some weird error, um, it might be because you have both your desktop and your online um, Arduino IDs open. And so make sure if you need to actually view a serial monitor or upload something, you might have to close out of one of those. But that is pretty much it. Um, yeah. Good luck using that, uh, downloading and installing the uh, desktop IDE from Arduino.